Amanda, Illinois Prep.com, Skyler King, and Aaron Seals. Playoff preview number 13, South Elgin in the playoffs for the second straight year, but looking for their first ever playoff win. Uh, the young program started out the year 5-0, and including a 49-26 win over Metamora that we were there for. Mm-hmm. And... I think that was a big win for their program. I remember when we were walking out of the game, uh, we were sort of the players were sort of walking along with us, and some of the players were going, "Just beat the state champs." Yeah, you, you know, they, they, they're they're obviously starting to to build some pride in that program, and I, I think they're going to win their first playoff game this year. They're certainly battle tested. Uh, they lost a nail biter to Geneva in week eight, but Geneva seven and two. They lost to, they lost two straight, but Geneva and Bonds were both seven and two, and their other loss was to a seven and two Bartlett team. And they beat good teams. They beat, like I said, eight and one Metamora, six and three Nequa Valley, and they they've got some skill. We, we, we've talked about Simeon and uh, Morgan Park having some offensive skill. These guys got some wide receivers. Yeah, uh, the quarter, yeah the quarterback John Minkin, he has a lot of people to choose from. Yeah, uh, and we saw that when when they played against Metamora, he was just all over the place. It yeah. was a Madden game. Tommy Asa, Ken Loudon couple of his top targets and then uh brad birchfield can uh, tote the rock out of the backfield also yeah i remember when we were walking past him like you were saying you know the team you know it, it's tough when you have a new program or a fairly new program you know you can't look back and how it was your team in the 80s and you know your brothers and sisters probably yeah. didn't go there so it makes it tough for for that type of team but they're definitely doing it uh second year in the playoffs and they're definitely looking for their first playoff win so you know, South Elgin, you know, you don't know as much about them. You, you know, you don't hear about them like Joliet Catholic. It'll be interesting to see what uh, they can come up with. We well, talk about there being a lack of history, but certainly Coach Dale Shaver can say, you know, you guys need to make the history yeah. right now. You yeah. guys are going to be the, the the teams that they're talking about 20 years from now as being, you know, oh, yeah, that, that 2010 team was the, the team that won the first ever playoff game. You know, they were the start of, of uh, a 20 a year dynasty. Yeah, 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 a 20 year run of. You know, making the playoffs, going and making some runs. But not only that, though, I, I believe the head coach, uh, I think he said he was from Larkin. Yeah. And they definitely had several programs over there. So he's, you know, he came in there with his head saying, you know, I'm, I'm expecting to do this. This is, this is, you know, this is regular. Yeah, and that certainly helps to, uh, because, I mean, if they had, obviously, a new program, if they had started with a first-year head coach, yeah, it, it'd probably be a lot different. The development would have probably been a lot slower. Not that they couldn't have got there anyway. But, because, uh, obviously, if you're 8A, they got, school. Yeah, you, you, you got a good size. You, you got enough kids to have some talent. Um, but certainly when you have a coach, you bring in a coach that's had success, he knows what it takes, and he he knows how to coach them up to say, you know, this is what you got to do to be successful. We're going to use the talent that we have. We're going to throw the ball because, you know, as we've seen and as we've talked about, not a lot of teams, you know, are used to seeing them throw the ball. And that's why I, I, I got them beating Warren in the first round. We both do. <laughs> they're, put, they're looking for number one overall seed Stevenson in the second round, and we talked about that. It, it, that just might be like a, a Monday Night Football, like old old like Dan Marino, John Elway chucking it up like fifty million times in that football game. Yeah, if it's South Elgin versus Stevenson, you know, get your blankets, get your pillows because it is going to be four a hours long. <laughs> it's going to be a baseball game because there's, there's going to be no right now. But it's it's uh, that's definitely something that. Uh, South Elgin wants to do you know this is the thing you know to become that program that everybody's talking about you have to take down another program you can't just beat mediocre teams you have to take down a program that everybody's talking about and then they're like hey uh, who's South Elgin they beat this team so this if anything this is exactly what they're looking for well yeah and there's certainly the team that has nothing to lose is awful dangerous oh yeah you know and You, you don't you don't want to be in a fight with the guy who uh, who's not afraid of dying? Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to be in a fight with him. And you know, certainly, there, there, there's no because we talked about they haven't established that history. There's no alumni saying you guys better win playoff games. It's just themselves saying, you know, let's go out there, give it a shot, let and it hang win. loose, have some fun. Exactly. And and that's the best way to play. Yeah, and so you beat Warren. You know, Stevenson has had some teams, not to mention they're undefeated. So Stevenson expects to beat a South Elgin in the second round. Exactly. So they might have some self-imposed pressure where they're saying, you know, these guys just won their first playoff game. You know, they, they shouldn't come in and beat us. Exactly. You know, we, we, if we don't win, everyone everyone's going to be, you know, say, saying that we blew it. And South Elgin can feed off that because a couple of these teams that they might see going forward, Maine South's in this bracket. It's really Maine South's got a lot to play for. Oh, yeah. And so it, it, it should be – 
it should be fun to be on the South Elgin sideline in that huddle at practice. Oh, yeah. You know, looking forward to becoming really trendsetters at that school for that program, winning their first ever playoff game. And I, I, I hope they get it because the, the, the more chances you get to see that offense. Oh, yeah, it was it, fun. It was very fun watching. And certainly, like we said, you know, th- that might be the most viewer friendly playoff games at Stevenson <laughs> South Elgin. You know, because think about playoffs. You, probably cold you know three and outs people are just grinding the ball out oh, yeah. these guys you know get get, get the gloves on wide outs get those fingers warm oh, yeah. because we're, we're going to be throwing it early and often and that's the type of thing when you pass especially with young with young quarterbacks anything can happen you that's know true. especially when it gets cold like that yeah and so you can get some alligator arms you get some picks and because everything hurts 10 times worse than oh, yeah. it was called catching the ball getting hit it is just well it's not even a hurt it's it's, it's the sting yeah it's, it's but like a add frostbite that, sting so just think if you get a, a knockout hit yeah you're cold it's stung <laughs> and you're hurt so yeah. it's, it's it's not fun yeah so who who wants it more not many teams are going to want it more than south elgin trying to get their first ever playoff win oh, yeah. and really make some noise in the playoffs so that's our south elgin storm preview 8A playoffs, looking to make a run. They'll definitely have a chance to make a statement if they get by Warren playing number one overall seed, Stevenson. We'll come back next time. Playoff preview number 14 here at IllinoisPrep.com.